I resonate with the loner vibration in my blueprint. Hey everybody, welcome to the Your Life Blueprint Sound Vibrations. I'm Gandharva and with Saturday and the loner vibration, we have reached the end, the end of the week. It's the last day of the week. And it's a good day then to contemplate endings. Endings of everything, and especially your own ending. If you remember it all, remember on Saturdays that you will have an ending. <laughs> you don't know when it's going to arrive, but it will one day. This is good to remember because it helps us to live more purposefully and more intensely because we know it's not forever and we better get things done. And the older we get, the more we can feel that. So let's um, hear about some endings today from this great book, Graceful Endings. When Zen Master Tung Shan felt it was time for him to go, he had his head shaved, took a bath, put on a robe, rang the bell to bid farewell to the community, sat up till he breathed no more. To all appearances, he had died. Thereupon, the whole community burst out crying grievously. as little children do at the death of their mother. Suddenly, the master opened his eyes and said to the weeping monks, we monks are supposed to be detached from all things transitory. In this consists true spiritual life. To live is to work, to die is to rest. What is the use of groaning and moaning? He then ordered a stupidity purifying meal for the whole community. After the meal, he said to them, please make no fuss over me. Be calm as befits a family of monks. Generally speaking, when anyone is at the point of going, he has no use for noise and commotion. Thereupon, he returned to the abbot's room where he sat in meditation until he passed away.
So today, say, I resonate with the loner vibration in my blueprint.